We've got a new trailer, and we also got a new truck, and I wonder what it's for. We're back in Elm Creek. It's snowing like crazy. We've got the snow plowing shop all opened up, and we're actually leaving this today to start a new business. Now, this business is going to stay running, but we're going to be starting a power sports store because I figured with all this snow, people want to buy snowmobiles, razors, stuff to take them out in the snow and have some fun. And there is no power sports dealerships around the area, just car dealerships and truck dealerships. So... Oh, we almost cleared the street pole. We're going to head into the southern part of Elm Creek. And we're going to open a new dealership. We're going to get this thing running all in one day. We're on a mission to customize vehicles, to build a shop, and get this thing open tomorrow at 8 a.m. while the snow still lasts. Because, oh, wow, the roads aren't even plowed yet. But hopefully we'll have a grand opening tomorrow and we'll sell a lot of vehicles. But here we go. We're arriving in the town. It's the southeast village of Elm Creek. And we just got to find a good location. We can buy pretty much any piece of the land that we want we just got to find the spot so there's a baseball diamond there's some businesses over here maybe down that street but i think we might actually have our spot right up here this is right in town but it's also kind of out town so you don't have to be too close where all the crazy traffic and everything is and also when we do deliveries we'll be able to get out of town very quickly so we're going to take this tree out and i think we're going to start building right here if you guys are ready and enjoy power sports dealership videos make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below and while you're down there, hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already. I would appreciate it a ton. All right, let's get building. Oh, we got traffic here. Go around us. All right, this is going to get rid of the snow. But first things first, we got to level all the ground out. A good shop has got to have level ground. So here we go. Let's open it all the way up. And there, look at that. This is the best tool that this game has created. So once we level it all out, we're probably going to go in with a nice concrete pavement. We got the business to our left. I think this is actually just someone's storage facility for all their cars. So... They shouldn't have to use this gate over on this side right here. So we'll just go ahead and build a retaining wall because why not? So there we go. It's all leveled out. Looks good. I can actually just close the gate off because we do own part of that property. So there we go. We close the gate off. Now we can go into our painting mode. We're going to go with the lightest piece of concrete that we've got. So we'll make it all look nice because we're going to have vehicles on display, snowmobiles, all the vehicles you can think of at a power sports store. I can probably name five because you know there's only so many four by fours out there you know razors can ams we've got maybe three wheelers four wheelers we're gonna obviously bring dirt bikes snowmobiles different brand snowmobiles there is skidoo and there also is a polaris brand so the polaris 850s are beasts those are probably be our top seller but let's go ahead and find a building too we've got 4.6 million dollars plenty of money to pick a nice size shed out of here so let's see what we should go with I really like this shed because there's a giant warehouse that goes with the property and you also got the little front part. So we're probably going to put the office space right in the red building. And then over here, we got the green siding building. This is where we're going to put all the vehicles to store them. So that actually works out perfect. We bought the building. Cost us uh, actually not that much money. I think it was just under $100,000, maybe like 80 grand. So that's, that's good. We're balling on a budget here. We got to save money to buy all the vehicles too. That's when all the expenses are going to add up. Vehicles are not cheap. And when you add up like 30 snowmobiles at 20 grand a piece, that is uh, about 600 grand. Oh, we got to be careful here. Um, okay, this looks good. I think we got a little bit more leveling to do. And then the property will be level. And then we just got to go back over with the concrete. But as you can see, we're going to build a little ramp up and then level it all out. So that's good. Smooth landing. We're going to have snowmobiles around here. So be careful with it. We're going to put some trees down. Even though it's winter, we're going to put some trees on the backside of the shop to separate that farmer's field. So this will separate the property. Look good. We got a lot of space over here. Let's go into decoration mode. Let's see what we got. We could do maybe a fence. I don't know. Maybe we just do bushes. This is probably the best looking, especially with the snow cap on top. That looks sweet. So we could do one bush there, and then we're going to do one in front, like a smaller second row. That looks actually really nice. So that's cool. In the front of the property, we're going to do something very unique that no other dealership in town is ever going to have because... Well, it's very unique. It's a glass fence. We're going to build in a glass fence at the front of the property. Let's go ahead and stop it right there. And let's go ahead and finish the rest of the fence off. Look at this. It looks sweet. Super modern field. And then, I mean, you can see all the vehicles that are behind the wall. And since we have snowmobiles, you won't be able to see them if the fence is blocking it. So that works out good. Let's move on to lights. We got to add in a nice set of street lights. Probably going to add these two poles right next to the glass. That way nobody runs through them. So at night, you know, you can see them very well. And then we've got these modern street lights. We're going to place about four of them around the property. So at night, all the equipment is lit up. And that just totally helps with advertising at night. Because some people, you know, they're driving home at night from their jobs. They won't be able to stop in during the day. They can check it out at night. Maybe purchase it over the phone. So that helps out and looks good. Let's go ahead and finish off the rest of this concrete. There, it looks sweet. And then we've got this whole little driveway pad right here for washing vehicles. It doesn't get messy. All right, looks good. So this is our main structure. I think we're going to add some decorations here. 
First of which is going to be parking spaces. We're going to need a lot of parking spaces for our customers. Power Sports dealerships tend to have a lot of cars at them because, you know, every mechanic, every salesman's got a car, plus any customers that come in. So let's go ahead. We're going to put the parking spot over in the far corner here, and then we can probably put some along the building. And, oh, that's too close. Okay, let's see. We can go against this fencing part right here. Looks good. Okay, we've got eight parking spots. That is more than enough. Let's see if there's anything else cool that we could put down. Just a bunch of rusty cars right here. Let's see if we got... Oh, okay. We got some nice benches. We're going to need some places to sit down too. So people need to go outside on their break. So we'll put some benches maybe just across here too. There we go. So they can sit down. What else we got? Another important one, a generator, an electric power generator. No, no, no. It makes electric. It is gas power generator. We're going to put two of these on the backside of the building for storage because if we ever have a power outage, we don't want the shop freezing any of the components in the shop and we don't need the vehicles being cold because that just causes issues over time so yeah we're gonna go ahead and leave generators outside in case we ever lose power we got a gas power generator let's see put some fuel canisters back there too and then okay that saves us so that's our backup for our power supply we can hook that directly into our power source and fire the building back up but one more thing we got to add is some plants too we got to make this place look good we're gonna put some tiny plants just next to the bench because this is kind of just weird space there's no parking spots but we don't want to put parking spots there because it'll block off this spot and it'll look weird. So, all right, we got enough parking spots. All that looks good. Ooh, okay, okay. This is cool. We got a rock flat. So this thing could be used to elevate vehicles to show them off. I've always done this with my dealerships. Let's go ahead and angle this one. So we're going to basically drive a snowmobile up on it. It'll be like an advertising sort of tool. And then let's put this one, angle it like this. It's not blocking the parking spot. We can also put a snowmobile. Oh, it's going through the fence. That's eh, all right. Of course, we're going to need a uh, mascot. It's going to be a snowman. So let's put uh, one down right there. And that looks good. Okay, not much grass around the property, but that's fine. We are basically a dealership. So mainly it's all concrete at a dealership. I think this looks good. If you guys have any suggestions for the building, put them down below in the comments. But as far as that, we should head to the shop and pick up some new vehicles. Okay, we're starting out with maybe the worst vehicle that we're going to have at the store. This is an antique sled, the Snowwall 500. It used to come in brown, and that's the ugliest color too, but uh, we're going to buy one of these just for the memes. We're going to put it in one of the showrooms. People are probably never going to buy it, but it is the oldest snowmobile in existence, and yeah, it's probably the worst too, but uh, it's definitely cool. You got a little spot to put your stuff, and there's a trailer hitch on it. It's funny, but we're going to buy one of these. Let's head over to the Polaris section where we're going to buy some Polaris 850s. Okay, we are in the Polaris RMK Pro section, so these things can range from 120 to 185 horsepower. 34 liter gas canister holding tank with 60 mile per hour and it weighs 984 kilograms. So it's definitely cool, but we've got a couple options here. We've got tilt deck, a flat deck trailer, and obviously the snowmobile. So I think we're going to buy a couple of these trailers too, the tilt deck one. So what you could do is you can load anything up on the back, such as, you know, equipment if you're going up a mountain. So we're actually going to buy like two or three of those and then let's get onto the snowmobile. So we're going to obviously do the 850 and 600 as well. We want to have some lower tier options for people that don't want to spend $20,000. So we'll start with the 600s. It's no upgrade fee to make these things have a little bit more standout in the logos. So we're just going to keep that the same. The tail, you can do a different color option. Does not charge extra. So we're going to color match that because it completes the slide. We're going to do a tail trim that does not cost extra too. Now the trailer hitch is $100 extra. Most people don't want that. So we'll see if they want that. Maybe they can build it if they don't want one. And if you want to change any of the accents, that's going to cost you some money. It says $0, but it's going to cost you probably $2,000 more. So it definitely costs more. The 850 raises it up another $2,000, you know, 1100 plus plus. And uh, it's just, it doesn't make sense. So people that want to spend $12,000, we've got the sled for them. $13,000, you'll be $15 out the door. And then, you know, for the 850s, you'll be about $20 out the door. So it's definitely probably $5,000 price difference. Let's do a couple different colors. We're going to obviously do a nice red. Uh, let's see, buy that. We're not going to do any of the ski match colors because that just adds up when you're doing different paint options. We're going to do a blue one. I don't like that blue. That's more like it. All right, and then we should probably do an all blacked out one. People like the all blacked out vehicles, so we'll do one of those. So we have three of them, kind of like the base tier models, and now let's kick it off. We're going to go full customized 850, custom logos, tail trim. Let's do black, tail trim, extended and metal accents all black so we're gonna do this one with a white color theme look at that it looks sweet with the logos we should probably switch it yeah that looks cool okay so we got an all white one and now this one we're gonna do eh, i don't like that blue let's see there's a green Ooh, okay the green looks kind of sick i don't know if you guys like this comment below but 
Let's see if there's any other greens. Oh, yep, this is the winner. Okay, we're buying it. This is like a green apple color, and it looks sweet. And then there's an orange color. All right, not that orange. Let's see if there's any other cool ones. Okay, this one probably is the winner. A nice bright orange color. That looks good. I think we have got 3850. So, okay, that's good with the Polaris's. Now we're on to the next set of vehicles that these are pretty cool. These are the Can Am Maverick XRS. Turbo R 2018. So we're going to buy a couple of these, just maybe two, because they are pretty pricey. We got a base price of just about 27,000. And when you add the engine setup, it doesn't cost any more. So you can get about 195 horsepower. The wheel setup, the tracks. Oh, okay. Those are not cheap. So you got crawler tracks, but uh, let's go ahead and maybe buy a blue. People always love a nice blue on a Can-Am. So let's buy one of these. It's just got the stock tires, the roof. You can color match. We're not going to do that. Ah, we should do a crawler track. That looks sweet. Let's do it in a different color though. Something someone would buy just because people don't really like blue with crawler tracks. Okay, this is pretty standardized, but this this looks cool. You got the springs in all white too. Matches the rest of the car. Okay, definitely not chrome. That looks terrible. Let's see. What else we got? Orange? No. Purple? Oh, that looks kind of cool. Okay, this, this looks pretty sweet. Uh, we're, we're just going to send it because, you know, we always send it. This is a gold Can-Am tracked. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe we're buying this. All right, let's go. Sold $100,000. No, I'm just kidding. It's like forty grand plus taxes. So, all right, I think we've got everything. Let's grab the Super Duty and head and pick this stuff up. We'll be back with our first load in just a minute. I'll meet you guys at the shop, and we're going to do some test driving. Okay, we're here, and nobody still shoveled or snow plowed any of the Clever Motors area. This is where we import and export all of our vehicles at. And all right, let's put the ramps down on the trailer. And this is what we got. So we got all the slides lined up. We've got a lot of them here. Three, six, and we've got the old one, seven. So, and then that's that's pretty sweet. So we got two cannons. This is going to be our starting lineup. Let's fire up the gold one. I think we're going to probably demo this out. So this is going to be our kind of personal use, but it's still going to be owned by the dealership for the first couple months. And then we'll get rid of it. But wow, this thing handles good. This is a sweet looking vehicle too. You got the lights on it. Horn, very cool. It's got all the options. You can make it street legal if you want. Probably not this one since it's got tracks, but it rides good. And then let's go rip around one of the 850s. Let's see where are we at. 850 key. Okay, that's a 600. All right, we're on to the 850s. Let's see. We got the white 850 RMK Pro. This is sick. All right, let's rip it around. Oh my gosh, this thing just throws snow to the side. We got the right winter coat too. We're staying warm, but this thing flies on the roads. This is good transportation during a snowstorm. Well, guys, I think we're just going to get this stuff back. And if you want to see us come back at the Power Sports dealership and do some more mountain climbing with the snowmobiles, hit the thumbs up button down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.